This is the video for lesson 27 on my website, Introduction to Range, Median, and Mode. In this lesson, we'll take a look at some basic terms that come up again and again in statistics. We'll learn what these terms mean, and we'll learn how to calculate their values. The first thing I'm going to do is write a list of numbers. I'm going to write 12, 27, 34, 41, and 79. Now the first thing to notice is that these numbers are in ascending order, from smallest to largest. That's very important. When we do these statistical calculations, we need for our list to be in order. If you're given a list of numbers that are not in order, it's probably being done to trick you. And the first thing you want to do is put them in order, from smallest to largest. Let's start by taking a look at what the range is. The range is simply defined as the largest number minus the smallest number. We basically want to see how many numbers are in between the smallest and the largest value. And that kind of makes sense just from the simple definition of the word range. What we'll do is we'll do 79 minus 12. And of course, that equals 67. So in this list, the range is 67. Obviously, it was important that the list be in order from smallest to largest. Otherwise, you can see we would have gotten the wrong answer. The median is very easy to calculate. It's simply the middle value in an ordered list. Again, the list must be ordered. So this list is ordered from smallest to largest, and 34 is simply the middle value. That's what the median is. Now, this list has an odd number of items in it, so it was very easy to pick out the median. If the list had an even number of values, then what we would do is we would take an average of the two middle values. And we'll learn more about how to take averages in a later lesson. Now, the mode is defined as the item that comes up, the, the item in the list that occurs the most. In this particular list, all the items occur exactly once. There's no duplicates. So for this list, we can actually say that there is simply no mode. There just is none. But now take a look at another list. For this example, I'm going to write 2, 3, 4, another 4, and then there'll be 3 fives and a 6. Now, for this particular list, you can see that the number 5 occurs the most. So we can say that the mode in this list is 5. Sometimes there'll be no mode, sometimes there'll be one particular mode, and if there's a tie for the number, for the value that occurs the most, there can actually be two modes, or more than one mode. In this particular list, no other number occurred three times, so the mode is simply five. This is just a very basic introduction to the very, very basics of statistics. In later lessons, we'll work much more with these concepts.